Hey, this is Crazy Dave here. I'm going to make a few videos in a row. So, <clears throat> I've been off for a while. I've said I made a YouTube video saying that I'm back, and I was. So, but I've been just chilling and relaxing, you know, so, um, taking care of some stuff. But, uh, this is going to be, though it's been a while, but this is going to be on the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. It is not like the TV show back in the 90s, all right? It's not like the Melissa Joan Hart, Caroline Ray, who, you know, I had a crush on back in the day. Um, it's not like it's not like that show. Oh, well, by the way, I met Kel Caroline Ray in real life. She gave me a hug. Cool. So, um, anyway, so uh, the Netflix series *Chilling Adventures of Sabrina* is more gothic. Seems to be falling in line with the trends of the TV shows today. Like Doctor Who's gone more gothic, but The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina has also gone more gothic, but it's more naturally gothic because the, you know, it's based off of the early, I think, late 60s, early 70s comic books. So it's more based off of that. And it's, 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 it's serious, but it's, 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 it's gothic, but it's, it's cool. Some people don't like it, some people do. I happen to like it. I mean, the first few episodes were like, meh. But when you got into it, it was really cool. Um, is it worth watching? Yes. Um, it's if you're ultra sensitive about religion, okay. I wouldn't watch it, okay, because there I'll go, all hail Satan, you know, kind of things like that. If you're into the occult type stuff, you know, like if you think that's kind of cool. You, you can basically watch because that's what the show is. I mean, the whole the whole point of the show is Sabrina is going to approach her 16th birthday, right? And she has to put her name in the Book of the Beast, you know, basically, a.k.a. Revelations. Um, she has to put her name in that book, right, in order to pitch, pick which side that she wants to be be on right whether she wants to leave her mortal life behind because she's a half witch half human whether she wants to leave her mortal life behind and become a witch which if she does that she um, basically lives longer than anyone else and ages a lot slower right and she sees her friends die and all that kind of stuff and all, you know over the long haul basically right so she fights and she fights and she fights and she fights and she fights it right but then she goes, she does a little ceremony thing and she gets tricked into putting her name, or almost gets tricked into putting her name in, right? But she doesn't. You have to put it in blood, right? So, you know, Satan comes up and goes, ah, oh, what are we going to do, blah, 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 because he has, he has a vast interest in Sabrina because she's very, she could be very potentially powerful, right? This is like the whole season that I'm talking about here, right? So she ends up going to, uh, there's two schools. She ends up going to a witch school and a wizard school in her regular school. So she could do both because that's the deal that Satan made, right? But one of my favorite things of the whole entire season is when she was at her witch school, they did this hazing and it killed a bunch of children, right? They would hang them, right? And there's these three, three sisters, right, that would haze people and haze people and haze people. Right, and they decided to try to hang Sabrina. Right, and so she found a bunch of these dead children that are just go walking around the witch school, going, "How would you like to get them back?" And so she hangs all of the the three witch girls or whatever they're called, the sisters, as a prank, and she scares them to death. But they they don't die, okay? They don't die. They just get scared. They don't they, they don't screw with Sabrina. I mean, her exact lines: "I'm gonna make you choke on your own blood if you mess with any of these kids again." Basically, she's pretty much a badass character in that episode. But she, she's a badass character all around, you know. And just, 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 you know, her femaleness. Uh, but it, the show, like I said, if you're into the occult, it's pretty cool. I mean, to me, it's just interesting. But at the end of the day, the at the end of the day, of the season, she ends up having to sign her name in the Book of the Beast. To save everyone, because the witches, these old witches, you know, there's this demon woman who 
takes on a human form and just manipulates Sabrina through the whole season, you know, and gets her to sign the name, gets her to sign her name in the Book of the Beast, and she does it to save. She does it for a good reason, but now that she did, she has to listen to whatever Satan calls her. So whenever Satan says, "Hey, you got to do this," boom, she's got to do it. And Sabrina transforms into like you know the chick in the comic books. You know she has. You know, white hair. Now, there's there's a difference in the comic books. Sabrina came about as an accident when Hilda and Zelda, I believe their names are, made a potion and she came to be. In the Netflix series, she was half human, half she's half human, half mortal, because her father was like chief warlock or whatever, and he married a mortal, and you know they joined the Church of the Dark or whatever. And uh, then they had Sabrina, and they died in the plane crash, right? But in the comic books, Sabrina comes out as an accident, you know, Hilda and Zelda make a potion because they want to make a daughter, and boom, there's Sabrina. You know, she's shape-shifting powers and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, yeah, the season's pretty good. Uh, she does have this stuff with Harvey, and uh, that doesn't end well. He doesn't die or anything, it's just... She's just manipulated through the whole season. So it's it's a pretty decent season. I, I, I kind of liked it. Um, Salem doesn't talk. Just so you know, only at the very beginning. So um, just letting you know. It's a bit different. If you're expecting Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you're not going to get it. If you like Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you probably won't like this. you got to have like an open mindset. If you're ultra-religious, I would suggest you stay away because... It won't be for you because you'll be pissed every time they say, oh, hell, hell, Satan, you know. And you'll be like, why do they make a show like this? So, anyway. All right, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Crazy Dave, signing out.